wild. It's wild, yeah. It's like... <laughs> the brakes work. <were>. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel today. As you can see from the thumbnail, the thumbnail always gives it away. Fall Auto Club, Sundays at Solano. Yeah, one of my favorite events. But before we go there this weekend, I haven't had my cup yet. You know what time it is. It's time to get my fills fixed. Let's go. Oh, by the way, we're taking that for Romeo 4 Fills Phil's Coffee, woo! Can't wait to get that Ambrosia of God. All right, here we are. Phil's Coffee, Ambrosia of God. Ambrosia of God is finally back. Yeah, and if you guys want to buy me a cup of coffee, the link is down in the description, coffee.com. Appreciate you guys. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Look at this great parking right next to the slant nose. The slant nose plate. Let's see. My Alfa Romeo 4C, right there. Oh man, my voice is a little horse. A pony, if you will. Damn, I don't know what that is right there. Let's see. Trussell. Another Porsche there. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the slant nose. Look how I love that red interior. It's so nice. The front of the slant nose. And it's slanted, of course. Next to this Miata, it didn't take too long, but we have our first Montana play of the day. Yes, all the best businesses are in Montana. All right. Look at this right here. Wow, okay. Apollo. No, not Apollo. Oh, yeah, it is. What do you know? All right, this thing's nice. Out there in the distance, we got, looks like a NSX. Not sure if it's a Type S or not. Ooh, M2 making all the right noises. We got lucid air. Noisy as heck. And not sure what this is coming in. Alright. Ooh, the clown shoe. Love it. Miata. Tesla. Ooh, a Shelby. That is nice. Ooh. Whatever that is, again. All Auto Club. There goes Robert over there. I see Joe back there. Zuki. Two door. Alfa Romeo. Nice Porsche. Oh, are those plates Montana? Hard top. Miata, followed by an MR2 first gen. You've seen his Audi R8 before. This is his Jeep Wrangler. Jeep Wrangler, I mean Bronco, Ford Bronco. Oh God. E46, M3, a little bit slams, that's nice. They're followed by S2K, you got the BRZ, the back of the E46, M3, and the S2K, and the BRZ. AC Transit, might have said this joke already. You need not go far to get to Canada because Montreal is right here. Yeah. The Alfa Romeo, Montreal. Always happy to see it here at Vault. I think it's so nice. Nice Adi coming in with a nice doggo hanging out the window. And Type R Integra, followed by early 90s. Early 90s or no, late 80s Civic Hatch. There goes our friend with the Julia. Yo. Wow, okay. Not sure what that one is. All right, well, take care. <laughs> this is nice. Here at the front of the canopy vault, we got, well, for one, we got Signal Coffee. Shout out to them. We got this beautiful Alfa Romeo. This is actually, I think, one on, on their posters that I have in my garage. The back of the Alfa Romeo. Look at this. Oh, I didn't even notice the C, was it six? It has Lamborghini style doors on it. Yeah, that manual transmission. And yeah, it's all opened up. That is crazy. Got the Mach 1 Mustang. Loving the colors on that. The wheels. Not really seeing it on video yet. It's a little bit matte. It's very cool. Not sure if this is stock, but yeah, Recaro seats on the Mustang. The back of the Mach 1. We are GR86. Nice bronze wheels on there. The back, the spoiler, gives it kind of like a mini Supra look. And speaking of mini, Mini Cooper. 
the front of the GR86. This thing is six. E46, station wagon. Oh yeah, very nice. 1960s Mustang. Look how beautiful the interior is on these Mustangs. Front of the Mustang, if you look at the engine. Yeah, Bavarian Motor Works, followed by a Bavarian Motor Works. And look at these two Porsches. We got our friend's Porsche there. I believe that's probably Will's Cayman over there. And these two, yeah, giving Luft vibes. Yeah, he's got the beautiful whale tail there. The one right next to it just happens to be our next Montana plate. Yes, all the best businesses are in Montana. Loving that center exit exhaust there. Really cool. Give you a side view there. Loving that color too. It really makes me miss having a Porsche, a mid-engine Porsche at that. In the distance, was that 944? Whatever it is, it's about to park soon. But we'll see it in a bit. BRZ, this one looks new, very clean. In the back, I'm pretty sure this is not stock there, but I like that. Usually people clear things out, or at least they did back in the day. But that's a nice look. Right next to it is a beautiful MR2. This is the second gen. Actual Spoon Civic, we saw her when we drove in. So nice. All right, check out the back of the hatchy. The Civic. Oh, hello, how are you? Hi there. Oh. <laughs> so someone walking by just made me aware about the BMW. I totally forgot about it. Look how clean the front is. Again, can't go wrong with those BVS wheels on pretty much German cars in general. The back. Oh, get your peaches out in Georgia. 2000. It says S2002. Okay, someone. In the comments, help me out. S2002. Saw oh, this Honda Accord rolling by earlier. This thing is nice. Like that color. My dad had one, but he had his in kind of like a light blue. I like this green. Very nice Mini Cooper coming in. Loving the colors on that. GP. Wow, this thing is nice. That is a very nice Mini Cooper. Good sound too. The Volkswagen, the people's car, and it is for sale too. We're gonna continue on down. Look at this pick em up truck. Check out that beefy engine. I'll give you a better look. Ooh, very nice. Beautiful RS3, loving this color. The side skirt's all carbon fiber. Little carbon fiber wing, or I should say spoiler in the back. Yeah, this one's new, I like that. Uh, the lucid air that we saw rolling in earlier uh, here's the one i couldn't figure out what it was earlier it has a j on it i wonder if it's jensen wow this mercedes was this 190e we'll check out the back the pack tells us indeed a 190e folks i am the human encyclopedia of cars there goes again that whatever it is. I had a J, so I was thinking Jensen, but I could be wrong. Also, across the street, there's an XB. A Civic Si, next to that Porsche, what is it, 944? Ah, again, I am the human encyclopedia of cars. You got it right. You got the old Fiat Spider, or Fiat, I mean, Alfa Romeo Spider. Yeah, there was a period of time I was considering buying one of these. Oops, I am not in focus. Uh, just because people were saying a lot of good things as far as the the, the fun ability the driving experience I was driving one of these yeah uh, oh look graduate you look at the front of the core the Mustang the air the C5 I believe RS3 the truck and then GTV Alfa Romeo here goes that little two-door Suzuki and it goes the front of the Alfa Romeo GTV on this side. We saw some of these rolling in earlier when this S2K Green Volk wheels I like that the E46 M3 white wheels on there wagons out here including this BMW There goes that Mini Cooper GP. It says GP on the side and then MR2 first gen really cool looking Loving the colors. Actually, kind of looks like the same colors as a, another Toyota we see, a Toyota 86, the Miata hardtop, the beautiful Porsche, and this Porsche. 
we have yet again another Montana plate. Yes, all of the best businesses, I mean all of them, are in Montana. Absolutely none of them are in, my bad, Wyoming. We're gonna get a closer look at this Cooper just because it's just me. I don't see these around. It says John Cooper works there. He better if he needs money. Center exit exhaust. The wing up here. I actually don't know if regular Mini Coopers have wings up here, but that's pretty nice. He has a scoop there. Don't know if it's functional or not, but it looks cool when it's carbon fiber. It also has a little inlet. Again, don't know if it's functional, but on the side skirt, pretty cool. The back of the Miata, that looks different. Two, it's supercharged. Big old bands. And then we have two Alfa Romeos on the way. Spider, and if you haven't seen before, yeah, check out where the shifter is. Kind of different. Oh, this one has a face-off stereo and the club. Speaking of clubs, we got the quadrifoglio on the Alfa Romero Spider. Here goes the Montreal. Look at the way this looks right here. Interesting. The back of the Montreal. It's beautiful. There's the front. Oh yeah, just lovely. What a beauty. Love your outfit. Oh, thank you, love yours. The Volkswagen, this. I love how it's parked. Thing is lovely. It's BMW, gonna move out of the way. Pretty sure that's Sean's. Where is he? At the Porsche? What is this, is this Chris's? Yeah, the Corvette. Oh, yeah. Not completely sure if this is Chris's. Yeah, beautiful though. The back of the NSX. The side profile of the NSX. This thing is so nice. It was the front of the NSX. Look at those vents right there. Damn, that's so sick. The clown shoe, the inside. Yeah, you know, a little bit of Alcantara there. All the gauges there by the shift knob, or by the shifter, I should say. Very nice. Coin holder with actual coins inside. 300ZX Turbo. Yeah, very nice retro colors. On the Z, the front of the Z, 2002, S2002, and the Corvette, not a split rear, but or whatever they call them, but beautiful nonetheless, and probably a lot easier to see out of. Oh yeah, oh, this thing is so nice. Would love to have one of these, maybe in the future. Slant nose. Yeah. Sean's car. And Sean, sorry, gotta do it to you, but we got another Montana plate. Yes, all the best businesses are in Montana. And there's something else I'll show you guys on the other side. But first, I'll show you the front. Look at this. Key inside, go for a drive. So in the future, we'll do a tour of Sean's collection. But for this one, yeah, of course, right-hand drive, super tiny, Alcantara. And look at that. You even have a spare tire. Out of my two Italian cars, not one of them has a spare tire. This one, this Japanese beauty, JDM, you do get one. Another Alfa Romeo, look at that classic look. Kind of reminds me of the Z. The wood in the back of the Alfa Romeo. It says Bella GT. Muy bella, molto bene. Oh wait, muy bene, muy, I don't know what I'm saying now. I'm pretty sure I said something in Italian. Loving the snake there. Alfa Romeo Association. I think we have a meet coming up soon. Uh, the front of the Alfa Romeo. So stunning, very nice. BMW wagon, we we're following this BMW wagon on the way in. So nice, E36. Speaking of E36, there's one now uh, making eye contact with my 4C. Porsche headed out. This way. Wow, so nice. Oh yeah, back to the wagon. Beautiful color. It has the new style emblem right there in the center. Look at the back of the wagon. The phone 996. Wow. This thing is very nice. Look at that wing. Oh, one Porsche leaves, another one takes its spot. It's meant to be. Ah! It looked like the Subaru was gonna stop. I don't blame him for reversing. Yeah. There we are. 
here's the Maserati that we saw earlier driving in. I got the back, it's all like flat, quad exhaust. Yeah, the front of the Maserati. Very cool. Out there, you got the 911 Turbo. It says out racing. Love that. Beautiful orange, 2002. Those two look really good together. Targa. Craftman. Ooh, he's really gunning for it. All right. Oh, do not go into that. That is garbage truck. Next to the Miata. Another beautiful Alfa Romeo. Super classy. There's the Italian flag there. Beautiful wooden steering wheel. Uh, the quadrifoglio symbol in gold. Back and we have yet another Montana plate. Yes, all the best businesses. And I mean all of them are in Montana. Get that beautiful Porsche we saw earlier. Oh man. Sounds beautiful. Yeah. Woo! Look at this Toyota. We'll get the forerunner from up here since it's so humongo. That's a nice view from up here. I'm just up a few stairs here. Again, risking it for you guys just to get nice views. I had to go up all of these stairs. The sweat, the amount of sweat. Oh my God. Lucky me. Going for a ride. No, Robert said no. I was, ju I was just telling the viewers right now that I was going to get a ride. And Robert's like, no. <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> no, still a no. How about if I... Can you strap me in the back? Is that okay then? You put him in the engine bay. <laughs> There's room for me in there, right? I got to go to the Alpha. Woo! Yay! Get a ride. All right, is there a trick to getting in? Uh, just figure it out, bro. Figure it out, okay. <laughs> well, let's try to, okay. Oh, there you go. You put your right foot in. Yeah. Oh, damn, then you gotta get this one up here. And then I gotta pull this. Say <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God, dude. Okay. Bend the knee. Seatbelt. Dude, this thing's tiny. That's what oh, she said. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, look at your knees. They're like. <laughs> oh my god. Now, a lot of people think that it's like a flex. I like to pull out with the door open. <laughs> but it's just so people can see me. <laughs> you need a brick back there? Oh, you're good. There we go. <laughs> with the doors open. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. I don't even realize it has this tiny little window. Lens on there. Oh, jeez. This is so. Dude, your head's like in the. In the door. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> this thing is wild. It's wild, dude. Like... <laughs> the brakes work. Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny how addicting it is to drive. I forget how fun it is. Yeah. I don't drive it that much because it's all so scary as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you fit through here? <laughs> I would not try that with any of my cars. Sidewalks, not the whole works, dude. Got the sidewalks. You probably don't even need the parallel. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm holding the oh shit. <laughs> It actually doesn't feel as weird as I thought it would be being on the left side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would be a weird experience. You, you know, the only difference is the um, is the turn signals will get you, but after a while, you get kind of used to it. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm sure, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get all kinds of like cool reactions on to oh, this. Oh, totally. Thing. People are like, first of all, they're like, "What the hell is it?" Yeah. And then you're like an auto zan, and they're like, <laughs> what the what hell is an <laughs> Who makes an auto zan, <laughs> yeah. right? You probably get that. Yeah. It's like you have to go through a through a history of it, but actually uh Kamisa did a video on this and he actually used his car and he did uh on just on Japanese K cars and it was actually 
cool because I learned a lot about this car. Oh, you learned know. about your car. Yeah, exactly. Probably. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, let him do all the work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man, dude. Oh, uh. I want one now. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Dude. <laughs> Is it natural to be sweating? Like, yeah. <laughs> in <this car? laughs> oh, That's dude, Sean, easy thank parking. you. Yeah, for sure, dude. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> that was so much fun, dude. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's like God. an experience like nothing else, though. Yeah, God, that is. All right, and then this opens up like a normal door. But then you just push, push it up. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how ugly that looks. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh Okay. I swear. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm out. <laughs> Surprise. Dude. Oh, dude. Thanks so much, man. Sure. What an experience. Okay. What are you crazy? Okay, I really do. That was... That was so much fun. I think I just closed it like this. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sweating. Dude. That was hilarious. That was a lot of fun.